Hello everybody, g'day, g'day, welcome to Louis Studio uh, for another pour. I'm just playing with some new colours and uh, I've got a, a little canvas here. It hasn't been primed, it's just as is from, from the store. Just gessoed, um, you know, and I just bought it ready to go. So... I have um, a couple, actually three new purples mixed, and they're all metallics, and I've got a really gorgeous teal, and I'm going to be using some angel white, the standard one that uh, that I have. So I was thinking of doing some sort of a, like a nebula type um, painting. So let's see how we go. It'll probably turn out to be something completely different because you just never know, but let's just see. Okay, so here we go. I've got all my colours already mixed. Didn't want to bore you with that one. And for any of the newbies, please um, go through my videos and just uh, look for the videos which are titled, you know, for, for newbies or for beginners and um, and then you can you can see the whole process there so okay I've got this really really deep purple I like to do these things when when I mix colors because uh, it allows me to see how they work and and uh, you know how they interact with with each other and also what the actual transparencies of these colors so uh, that's why I like to do um, a piece of art and video it so that I can go back and watch the video and see what what I've done and what I'm doing to kind of um, and, and what the pigments are doing so this is just a really really nice deep purple metallic you can see the specks of um, metallic pigment through there so I use the whole thing up and I'm just going to bring it to the edge a little bit. I'm only using uh, 90 milliliters of resin and the resin that I'm using today is called the Aldex Crystal Cast. It's an epoxy resin and uh, I, I've been using it for a long, long time and I quite like it. I also use and stock uh, another resin called the um, Mad Artist Resin. It's uh, slightly less viscous than this one. But, um, you know, you use it for different things. I, I like both and I use both. I just, uh, I've run out of the Mad Artist Resin now and uh, I've got plenty in the shop, but I'm keeping that for you guys so you can buy it. Okay, so that's that. Not uh, really sure if you can actually see it you can probably see that beautiful purple on on the edges here but in the middle because because it's quite thick it uh, kind of looks quite um, quite dark but you can definitely see specks of of that um, silver metallic in there and uh, and it's just subtly you know perfect for for doing geodes and and like this kind of um, Cosmo, cosmosy kind of type art. Alright, let's just torch it a little bit just to get rid of the bubbles. So I've got my, I'll just pop it over here, just making sure that you're on. I'm going to go with my white. Hopefully, I'll have enough to cover the, what I'll do is I'll go in the middle. And see if I can spread it. Not all of them. I'm just going to flip it over here and let all that drain nicely. So just give me a second to get it. Get a clean alcohol wipe because I need clean hands for this, and I could change my gloves. But I don't have time, so see how they're interacting there beautifully. 
what I'm going to do is just go like this a little bit and down here that's flowing to the middle because I haven't um, put anything underneath this underneath this canvas to kind of um, to brace it and I will use the stick to go up here like that Take a little bit pop it in there might as well just looks like a nice little puddle there so don't have to go all the way because I want to see how these other pigments will react to, to the white and what it would look like you know the difference between the two so I should have put a piece of cardboard underneath it to just lift it up a bit probably too late Let's see if I can find I had one handy hold on okay so I just happened to find, to find a piece of cardboard that fits perfectly underneath here and I'm going to try and push it under there so and try not to mess the artwork oh well there's no artwork just yet but soon it will be hold on just got to look underneath for a second right so that's in now just got to push that down a little bit because I don't want it poking up all right this is already creating cells because that angel white just does that and don't worry about the edges that's because I haven't primed it so I will, I'll have plenty going over flowing over so it'll be fine okay so let's go with this gorgeous blue and I might just go in here with it just like that mix it mixing it a little bit with oh my gosh how beautiful is that blue A little bit going over here and up there a bit and maybe a bit here and then going with this another purple which is more of a, a purple uh, it's got a lot of ready red tones in it it's gonna go over and up there as well I'm just going to kind of following some kind of a pattern going that way. It'll all change. So I'm not too worried. And this um, beautiful blue teal color. I want to have lots of it here. And up there as well. Okay, so maybe we'll just... So I've got plenty left over maybe we'll just uh, patch up some parts here and just go over to the edge always a good idea to prime your canvas or board people ask me what what's the best um, thing to, to prime with and uh, I usually just spray paint it with a matte color spray paint and it works great because it's quick and I can get on get on to things but um, you can gesso it go through this one And maybe go around. No, it's not that one, this one there. Yeah, so it is always good practice to prepare your canvas. I'm just always in a hurry and I usually just grab whatever's there available and go with it because I've promised myself and you guys to 
try to do at least two, three videos a week, you know, because it's good for me to good therapy and uh, it's good to get away from other things and just uh, enjoy this. Okay, so this should be interesting now. Just going to grab something to put underneath there because actually I won't because it's going to be too long. Just want to tilt it a little bit now. I've got a little sculpture that I'm building over here. It looks really weird now, <laughs> but I've got all kinds of things in there. And I think I want to tilt this and pour it over the sculpture. Just like that. Okay, so that's just going to sit there and it's doing its own thing. Now I'm going to put it out of the way. That was just my daughter. She come back. They're staying with us or staying with me for a couple of weeks because hubby's working in the area. So it's good. It's good for them. It's good for me because I've got a bit of company now. So that's great. I get to spend a lot of time with my beautiful grandson who is just adorable. He really is. Okay. Wow, well, sales happening here. I didn't even know that was going to happen. And I'm thinking that the little thing that I popped underneath there, it's too high and I'm right. Just going to pop it out a little bit. Because I can see a okay that's better now because it's like a bulge there we don't want that right so now that I've done that oh look how pretty this is <laughs> okay so might just get my heat gun now because I've got some really beautiful cells happening here all by themselves okay gotta plug this thing in so I've got all these beautiful cells happening they're all popping up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heat gun to just lightly blow on them and help them open up and see if I get any more movement so I'm going to stand up for that one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, like a splash of stars in there. Quite like that. So I'll pull them back in. Probably should have done it on a board. It would have been better because there's too much movement now. So it's it's pulling back. It's really really um, soft now. Kind of loose. So it's all pulling in but yeah it's looking very interesting I don't want to fiddle with it too much except for fixing the sides see if I can pop that thing back up again it's not working with me is it I don't want to pull it too far up because then I'll get that bulge thing okay so let's see how oh geez that's a bit too 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 high now Oh no. Okay. Oh, I think that's better now. <laughs> the whole thing kept moving with me. Alright, well that's not bad. It just looks a little bit crazy. I like that area there. I want to stretch those um, cells. So I might just go down this way. 
it's just it's so warm and it's um, maybe I need to wait a little bit and then and then stretch them afterwards because they're really nice might use my heat gun to just try and open them up a bit looking great got to go around and fix the sides you probably can't see all these gorgeous colors from from there see this one I'm talking about but anyway it's going to add a bit of character now by putting these different kind of colors there I'm just going to use whatever I've got some of that nice nice teal Just going around the edge, fixing that. It's actually quite annoying. I get annoyed at myself because I tend to forget when I don't use canvases for a long time, I forget about this problem. The, the edges it's unprimed so doesn't like it because the edges are kind of higher now it's uh, all the resin is kind of sliding off it I can still fix it I just have to fiddle around and see that's not nice is it let me get around with some of whatever's left in here to fix that Looks like a, a huge cell. Problem is, the more you heat it, the more it's going to soften and and do that. So I've got lots of this one. Just going to be very careful, actually, how I do it, so I don't uh, mess up the the rest of the picture. Like I said, these uh, new metallic shimmeries, I've got the, the shimmery type and uh, as well as the softer metallic. Jump. They're both really, really pretty. But the shimmery ones are really cool for, for these kinds of paintings as well as, you know, geodes. Don't have to use any glitter. Unless you want to, of course, all depends on what you want. Right, going to be doing a little bit more. Oh, I love that how that white does that feathery effect there. It's just lovely. Um, have I got any? Maybe tiny little bit of white left. Just want to add a little bit here. Just want to give that. A little bit of something there. Just like that, and then leave it. It's just going to do its own thing. Oh, you bug. That's so annoying. I have to add that there. Okay, well that's looking pretty cool. Just want to now try and do that. It's going to change the design, I know. But I need to do something about those cells. Maybe go this way. Now 
now they're totally stretched. Okay, let that pull in nicely. Pull them back in. Okay. Put something here to cover that. And uh, going to be torching. looks cool if you like that take a photo right now I want to try something else and see what happens let's see how it likes the hairdryer oops if I can turn it on be great alrighty Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Look at that. The colors, even though they're kind of merged and mixed together, they're still separated. And you can still see each color, which is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to leave that now. I'm just going to let it come back. Um, I'll go around and, and fix these little, you know, it's just a pain. Just hate it when I do things like that. But I do. I'm silly and I should know by now to, you know, I just try to grab every opportunity to, to get some artwork in and because uh, I really don't have time. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I really like that now. It's really dreamy. It does remind me a bit of the nebula and just, uh, you know, the Milky Way and all that sort of stuff here with all the little cells around around there and all the shimmery stuff it's really great I'll bring it down so you can have a look and uh, you can tell me what you think and then I'll take uh, a little video at the you know when it when it's all set and um, and show you when it's all set all right well I'll let you go now and thank you for watching please like and share that really helps me um, join our group Fluid Art um, Community with Susanna Danks on Facebook. There's a lot of clever people there who, you know, just do amazing artwork. And there's a lot of newbies there also who get support. And, and sometimes we learn some really cool tricks from the newbies. I think that's really amazing. And it's just a nice place to be. I know there's lots of groups out there. And uh, you can be part of more than one group. Just join us. You won't regret it. Alrighty, um, also before I go, if you wouldn't mind just popping onto um, the Larez page, just Larez Expressions page on Facebook, like and share, and uh, if you're liking what you're using, you know, for all the people who are using Larez products, please uh, leave a comment, that also really helps, I don't do a lot of advertising, and uh, you guys help me move these amazing products. So, okay, enough talking for me. I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now. Okay, so I tilted, tilted a little bit and did a little bit more fiddling and, yeah, I can't stop. Just me. Can't stop.
that's what I want it a little bit more a little bit more of that wispy kind of feathery effect now I'm gonna leave it now that I'm happy with it I will leave it now and um, definitely except for the touch-ups <laughs> and I'll keep saying that okay uh, I'll bring it down now so you can have a look Okay, just to show you a little close up. Oh, that looks like an eye of some animal. How interesting. Let all the let's zoom that in a bit better. Interesting little cells. Tiny little cells, and look at all that sparkly stuff happening. That's uh, what I like. The wispy stuff. Little cells popping up here and there. It's actually not bad considering how much force I've put onto it with uh, with a hair dryer. Okay, so there you have it. It's still pretty wet, so I'm just gonna let it sit now and uh, show you some pics later. Bye for now.